<laughs> I think I just whipped the fucking microphone with the auxiliary cord. You know they have uh, a thing also that I've seen that clips onto the back of the microphone, and it's like a uh, insulated wall. So you know when you have the microphone standing a straight up, that I've seen uh, it won't catch any background back back noise from over here. And it's like uh, it'll only catch the wall noise. You know have the microphone standing straight up. It won't catch any background noise. It'll only catch the wall noise. Ow. <coughs> you kicked the bottom of the microphone stand. Oh. Is this loud too? Ow. <coughs> you kicked the bottom of the microphone stand. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you kicked the bottom of the microphone stand. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> you do it that. And now it's just <laughs> echoing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Need to give it a minute to. I'm trying to check and see what the. All right, let's Need see about that. To... I'm trying to check and see what see the. About you. Big boy. All right, let's Need see about that. To... I'm trying to check and see what see the. I think I might have mild tinnitus. Big boy. I know, I all right, let's see about that. Right now, I'm, like a I'm trying to check and see what the. I think I have all right, I think Big that boy. might. All right, be let's see about that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to check and see what the. All right, I think that might. All right, let's see about that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to check and see what the. Live. Sure. I'm trying to check and see what the. Yes, it is live, Matt. Sure, Matt is. Trying to check and see what it is. Yes, it is live, Matt. Sure, Matt is. Trying to check and see what it is. Okay. Oh wait, that's the other one. Yes, it is live, Matt. Hello. No. And the gain is all the way up. Now. Okay. Oh wait, that's the other one. Yes, it is live. Hello. The gain is all the way up. Now. Hit you with that. Stop because it's still live. <laughs> Blow out everybody's headsets. <laughs> okay. I can go ahead and take the headphones off. This is. Because I'm going to be screwing yeah, with you. Yeah, <laughs> I know you will. Okay, so here's kind of the deal. This is what we're going to be doing. Is uh, Matt just finished his playthrough of Skyrim. I'm getting kind of burnt out uh, on. I just finished or, Fallout 4. Fallout 4, whatever. Fucking. One's with swords, the other one's with guns. One yeah. still has kind of swords, and the other one you just use projectiles. I'm going to do a fucking two-handed run-through, and then you're a sneak archer by level 30. <laughs> That's so true, though, because I always end up being an archer. Yeah. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is, because Matt doesn't know how to mod Skyrim yet, and I helped him mod Fallout, but I did it really quickly, and he's having difficulty trying to figure out what it was that I did whenever... Because he's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Because I ran through it so fast, he's kind of clueless as to... He can install the mods and everything, but as far as, uh, like, script extender or... Setting, um, setting it all up at the very beginning. Yeah, the ENB and... Uh, you know, getting just like CVBE, getting some of the basic mods, you know, kind of going with it. I'm going to be, you know, I just installed Skyrim again. So I had new hard drive, new computer, new everything. And I'm kind of wanting to play it now. So. Uh, a copy me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, so we're going to be going through. <clears throat> And I'm going to show him how to mod. But I figure at the same time, this would also be another good time to show the people that watch this, which is like all of four of them, uh, how you can go about to mod Skyrim. Because a lot of people think, like whenever I, the first game I started modding, I think was Skyrim. 
I think it was because that's when I got my computer and that's when, no, it was like right after Fallout 4 came out is when I got my computer. Yeah. Um, but Skyrim is completely different from uh, Fallout in the sense that if you just overstep those bounds just a little too far, um, you just kind of totally screw yourself and it's real easy to do that. So... I'm going to be going through and showing everybody how to do some of the basic step steps. Steps. Yeah, the basic <laughs> steps, the, the little steps. And, uh, you know, all in one video because there's videos where it shows the script extender and then the, the ENB. And, yeah, and the video the, I was just watching was like step one of eight. And I was like, yeah, let's skip to the important parts. <laughs> yeah, which which ends up coming down to it is that you end up missing really really important yeah, just, steps because you're you're wanting to get to the meat of everything but there's that's what she said yeah you know, whatever <laughs> there's no meat and tic tacs <laughs> oh there could be <laughs> um but if you miss one or two steps then you just you totally fucked yourself and you have no idea what you're doing anymore and now you've got to try you know your very first start you know modding fallout and then all of a sudden you're like i have completely fucked myself because i have skipped a step somewhere that is now irreversible so i have to undo all the things that i did before and uninstalling like the script extender the enb like that's kind of difficult you kind of have to like halfway install it and then remove it and it's really confusing with the way that they have that set up so i'd much rather burn my hard drive <laughs> Exactly, and it would probably take you less time to do that and then reinstall the game. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be doing a how to mod Skyrim. That got really bright really <laughs> quick. I was not ready for that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to oops, hold on, NB for Skyrim. And this is not the enhanced edition. This is just regular Skyrim because as, if you go to the Nexus, which is where we're going next, um, right there, because it changed my shit around. So let's go to Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh, wait, hold on. Go back. Okay, so Skyrim has 56,000 mods. Okay, that's a lot. Fallout 4 has less than half of that. Okay, if that tells you how many mods are on the Nexus for Skyrim. The Special Edition has less than a fifth of that. At just a hair over 10,000. So, that's why a lot of people keep playing Skyrim. Is because... It is, it, the mods are just there for it. So, this will have adult themed uh, things. I, I like in how it. you say that after it brings <laughs> up the backside of a naked woman. <laughs> well, you know, potato, potato. I don't, I don't, believe, I don't believe that's how, how that saying goes. It is. Okay, so, um, let me look through here real quick. Okay, so here is kind of what we got. We've got Skyrim HD 2K Textures, Four's new idols in Skyrim, which is actually pretty good. We're actually going to do this off of endorsements because that kind of changes the load thing. order. Well, it changes the way things are done. So you've got you've got some stuff in here that is already very reminiscent of um, Fallout. Immersive weapons, enhanced blood textures, CBBE, the unofficial Skyrim patch, um, race yeah, menu, yeah, race menu, realistic ragdolls. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that is already 
Um, alternate start, that's another one that's in there. So that's all good and well. But before we even do that, we're going to download Skyrim Edit. And I don't think this is... Okay, why does it keep doing that? I think I need to change my weight. Uh, does that. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't think it's on this. Oh god, that got bright again. Oh, there it is. TS5 Edit. Okay. This is something, and you can tell that I have done all this before. But we're going to do this. So basically what this does is... Um, I'll just show you. It's better to show you. And I don't know how well... It shows that the audio is coming through pretty good. But if there's anybody there, then... Who would want to listen to you talk... I don't know. There's a couple of people, though. Well, that's surprising. It is. Oh, God damn it. They want to listen to me talk. Obviously not watch me do this, because that was terrible. So, an easy way to do this is... Edit. What you do, because when I very first started doing this, I would just you know take this open it up on my desktop and boom there'd be an explosion of here's 42 new things on top of your desktop mixed in with um, a whole bunch of stuff so what I do is create a folder right there and then just open it inside the folder now it keeps everything nice and confined to one little thing so I will uh, what am I trying to do here? I want to create shortcut. So you can take this shortcut and then you can I plop it right a there. A fallout symbol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. P S S five edit. So and then we will take this and we will put it right below that and you'll see why so I explained this to Matt earlier that the reason I do this this way is because Fallout 4 and Skyrim have a lot of similar mods and just by looking at them if you don't know certain things to look for you don't know whether or not you've clicked the fucking right thing or not so according to Steam I should have everything should be downloaded Yes, everything is downloaded. So, before we even... That's not the right... Oh. <laughs> Stupid ass. Uh, oh, okay. So, see, there we go. The first thing that we're going to do... An app on your PC needs the... Okay, I don't know what the fuck it's downloading, but it's downloading something. <clears throat> but, before we even get into modding and everything, you want to clean all of the master files, like we did. So that way, if you add a mod to it that adds something that's close to a master file, Fallout 4 doesn't accidentally, or uh, Skyrim doesn't, act, I'm going to do that a lot. I'm going to do that a whole bunch here. Um... But if you if it adds something identical to it or alters the master or something, because some of the mods can do that, you know, depending on how, you know, in depth that they actually are, they can modify the masters. And if the master has something identical to something else, but um, it's in a mod, when you go to delete it, you've just totally fucking broken that mod. And now you're having to go through and redo all of the mods over again because you don't know which one you broke you really have no clue at which one 
you just killed. And now you're having to troubleshoot this whole big problem that you don't even know where to begin at. So at that point, you just wipe it, and then you have to start all over from the beginning, which is a huge, huge pain in the ass. Don't you have to go in and play a few minutes of the game first? You do. You have to go run through it. Um, what we'll probably do is... Um, Go away. So, what we'll do is we'll just kind of go in. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, would you fucking go away? Fail to initialize render. Your display doesn't support the selected resolutions. Please set a different. Okay. So, what we'll do. Okay, I. F you know what? That's actually a good idea. Fucking go away. So. <clears throat> I'd really rather not use a letterbox. So what we'll do is we'll go down here to that one. Anti-aliasing, catastrophic filtering, uh, radial blur. We're just going to crank everything up on high. Object fade, we'll turn that up. Actor fade, we'll turn that up. Wait, fade. No, we want to turn. You know what? I'll play with that here in a minute. So, there we go. I really wish I had me a 4K TV. Why? So that I could play higher resolution and look nicer. Oh, so it's actually showing. Look at there. I have all kinds of fucking characters that somehow got saved on something. That you need to delete? Yeah, that I'm going to have to delete. Um, but, I mean, that character had 24 hours on him. That was 11-24-2016, so that was almost a year and a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. So, we're just going to get rid of these. God, all these names bring back a whole bunch of memories. That you wish to forget? No. Okay. So now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't really have an option. So, we're going to start a new game. And you've got to kind of play through the first uh, few minutes of it. I just went through, whenever I did my uh, first little playthrough of time, I, I just got, I went through to where I got out of the the first little city area and escaped to go like tell the 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 uh, where, where you go down into the cave or whatever. No, 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 right after right after you get out of the cave. Oh, right. That's where I went to just to be safe. Well, the good news is is that the cart is not bouncing anywhere, so we have managed to uh, start the game up properly, which is a uh, <laughs> not always a good thing because sometimes that doesn't. I've actually installed a bunch of mods, and then hold on, let me turn the um, subtitles on. So that way, finally awake. If we're being too loud, you let me see how loud it's actually. Order, right? Walk right into that imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Okay, so that's not too bad. So, Skyrim was fine until you came along. Here, here we go. They had been looking for you. And then so I know. Well, well, that's what the alternate start is going to be for. The alternate start, you know, that's going to be kind of showcasing some of the mods that we need to, you know, because I mean, yeah, you could do through this and for your first run through, okay. But by the time you get to your fifty fourth playthrough, as your yeah, as you start your two handed dagger to slowly get to your stealth bow build. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna run a, I'm gonna run a heavy armor, two-handed dagger, or uh, dual wielding dagger. Ten minutes later, God damn it! I'm a, I'm a fully or a light armor archer again. Yeah, <laughs> stealth archer. Yeah. So. Why do you care? 
I got kind of worried there because the cart started rocking back and forth. I'm like, oh god, here we go. Um, but you can see, you know, you go through this, and like I said, the first time you're kind of whatever, and it's okay. This the 54th time, you're just like, fucking shoot me now, please. Even on the alternate starts, it gets. Uh... Well, the alternate starts are not nearly as bad. No, but it still it still gets a little bit. And the alternate. Well, and the alternate start I like because it it um. If you want to play, like, let's say, like, okay, you're streaming for Twitch, for example, and you want to only do a um, certain build, or you want to roleplay as a certain character, like, you want to roleplay as a Dawn Guard, well, or as a, a student in the college. You have to start all of this where that particular backstory makes zero sense at all. So, by, you know, the alternate start is it kind of gives you a better um, role-playing experience as far as that. It's more, it kind of feels more Dungeons and Dragony, yeah. I would think. I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. Okay, we with so you. This is a mistake. we're just going to kind of blitz through this. I'm not going to create a character or anything because I do like using the customer or the custom characters. Yeah. The uh, like Nephilims and you know they. I was looking on through the mods and they actually have like dwarves and like so many new classes. I'm, I know that there was a, a centaur mod that mm -hmm. they were working on. Um, it kind of had some issues. I can see that. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me, archers. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to have that happen. You there. Okay. God, this is like a total blast from the past. Hey, level up. I leveled up. Look, it is already fucking broken. Um. I'm done. Yes. Uh, Bob. Bobbin. Bobbin. <laughs> you picked a bad time. So you can Bobbin. So, you can already see that there's a couple of things that are broken on it. I mean, it, and it could be from a bunch of mods that I once had installed that are no longer installed. Um, UI stuff, you know, whatever. And that's what's, you know, currently breaking the game. You'd have to go and clean it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go in and clean everything. Uh, check the data folder and see... If there is anything, yeah, because obviously if I had the save files, then there's something in there. Yeah. So, but this is what I'm talking about. That would be irritating. You know, you're going for immersion. You want, you really want to get into the game, but now you've got a permanent level up box stuck to your uh, screen. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rags! Oh, that's new. That actually said the Nord and the Rags. Did you hear that? I said 
No, I have. Do they usually say the king of rings? I don't think so. I think it just kind of. Because I normally don't play as a Nord. I normally play as a Kaijit or something. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. God, you're fucking ugly. And the ambient light sucks. It was such a delayed fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a... The uh, FNIS is for, which is a particularly confusing um, mod to install. So I may have to uh, watch one of Gopher's videos specifically for that, so I can. Uh, oh, I remember this now. That's why my uh, left bumpers on all of my controllers didn't work was because of this. Yeah, because of this game. <laughs> Dragon Pops through, right? He got heated. No, uh, well, he got fired. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I would have laughed if you would have missed the house. <laughs> I almost did. I'm just trying to get through here as fast as possible. Right. Unfortunately, there's no real fast way. Stay alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay down. I like how that dude is using fire magic against... Yeah, guys, I don't think that uh, fire is really the thing that's going to solve that problem. Yeah. Just a... Uh, Look at your damn water hose. Yeah. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. You, come on. Into the key. Okay. I'm just going to go this way because there's less waiting. Yeah. And then if you go, because you have to wait for all the guys that, um, bring us the wait for him to fucking untie your hands. Yeah. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. It is quite nice of him to take you the, go. uh, take a look around. There should be plenty of gear. The, uh, I'm going to see if I can off find me. something for these The bones. ropes. Yeah. You better get uh, back. Wow, that was incredibly loud. Yeah. Oh. Peril. Lucky swing is down. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out. Okay. So. You have to. No, he's gonna do it. I did forget about that though. Yeah. Because usually at this part on the console, I usually s sit behind him in a sneak and keep hitting him. And I level my sneak right there up to about 80. So you can definitely see that the game is broken to some extent. Hold up now. There's a slash. There. Now she's dead. Let me see if I can get okay. that Well, block isn't really the problem here, buddy. That sneak. <laughs> see okay so we're through this part and then let's just hurry up and get this kind of over with Oops, I just totally swiped the bag. my one hand it has increased <laughs> giggity Okay, so basically by doing this, what you're doing is you're uh, setting up the any files, uh, which you have to do the same thing with Fallout, 
You have to do it with this. You have to get far enough in the game to where whenever you... Um, uh, before you start the game or anything, you have no uh, any files at all. <laughs> no, that's the other one. I really do think that Fallout and Skyrim took place in the same world. It's just Skyrim happened a lot later than it, and that's why you have no a lot later because that's why they have. I just died. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. That might be enough to get our any file set up since I was just trying to blast through it. Oh, that would suck. Okay, so we're going to save this. Why is that 145? Okay. We're just going to create Looks a new like save. That should be enough to get us to where we need to be. Okay. So there's that. And then... Let's open this up. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we are going to clean the master files. And by doing that, you apply filter for cleaning. Why did you not clean the DLCs? I didn't yet. You do them one at a time. Oh. Yeah, you do them one at a time. So, and then what you do is you, um, what is it? You remove identical to master mo uh, files. I might be doing this backwards. And then you undelete and disable that. So you remove identical to master records, and then you undelete and disable references. And then whenever you leave, see how it says backup plugins down here? You do that, and then you update up there. So then that's one of them. So you have to go in, and you have to do this for all of them. Especially Dawn Guard and Dragonborn. Now, I have heard that those are kind of broken here and there, no matter what you do to them. So... You're kind of just SOL if it uh, if it doesn't work. Which I've never finished the Dragonborn DLC because it, it was always broken. So, there we go. We're obviously getting... Um, some kind of mix-up because of Skyrim... Uh, undelete and disable to master. Is it working? Is it actually doing it? Did I do it backwards? Okay. And then undelete and disable references. There we go. And so that one just got cleaned up just now. So then we go out, okay, and then you do it again. So now we're going to do Dragonborn, since we just did Dawn Guard. And you only want to do these one at a time. You don't want to do them all together at the same time, because I have heard of things getting super duper fucked up, and that's not what you want because if that happens you have to reinstall the entire game yeah if you screw that up and then undelete and disable references and it tells you you know warning one deleted nav mesh which cannot be undeleted which is fine it's probably something benign because this is a very very good program and then we'll 
get rid of those, and then we'll do hearth fires as the last one, which I don't think is going to end up having anything. So, uh, yep, apply filter for cleaning. And see, that one shows green, so there's nothing uh, weird about that. It just says that there's not really anything in there that it, you know, and it deleted some stuff. It, it undeleted 11, record, 11 records. It processed 17,000 records, so... 17,613. Yeah, whatever. So, there you go. Now it's all cleaned up, and it's, one, going to run a whole lot better, and it's going to be optimized a whole lot better. So, now that we've got that done, now we are going to go... Skyrim script extender. Okay. These are two things that you are going to need. Okay. You need to have the ENB, which is at this website right here. And then you need to have the Skyrim script extender. A ton of mods use... Um, the script, the, the script extender. So what is this? Install via Steam? There you go. Um, Install now. Mm, I don't like that. That's not the way that I've learned how to do it. You can try that if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, I got a bug on my screen. So, that didn't do anything. Yeah, it, did. Uh, it did. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, that's correct. Yes, that is correct. I guess that did it. Um, let's see. There's a way to check it. I think it's we'll go ahead and run it through there and then once we get to the menu itself there is a way to check and see SKSE version SKSE version There's a way to check this. I know there is. Hold on. Let me look it up real quick. Just a second. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's see. Not good. Version.
Let's go to SE version. There it is. Okay, so you see it popped up right there. I was doing it right, I was just not doing that part right. So it actually tells you right here, what you do is you type in get SKSE version. Um, capitalize all the beginning of the words, so GSV, capitalize O, and then it'll tell you that your version is 1.7.3, and it'll tell you that that's what you got. And how you get into this little menu right here where the mouse pops up, is you hit the tilde key. The tilde key is the one right below the escape key. So, we've got that now. And it won't let me quit. <laughs> <laughs> no quitting for Cody. Okay, so we'll just load up and then we'll quit. So, I'll just not let you quit. So there you go. That's how you get the SKSE version to make sure that you did it right. Now, do not click on this. Do not. That is not the file that you need. This down here is the file you need. And then you'll come all the way down and then you'll download with that little button there. So, the next thing that you need to do is folder. Actually, I'll do that there. I'll do that there. So, the next thing that you need to do, and the reason that you need this ENB is this is going to allow your game to do so many more things. The same thing that Sky Skyrim Script Extender will be able to do. So, now, here's kind of the confusing part of it, is that you have two different versions of these. You have the wrapper version and you have the injector version. Wrapper is a whole lot easier to use, a whole lot less confusing. An injector is, is that you actually have to run this right here in order to get it in the game. Whereas the wrapper doesn't. It just has a bunch of these settings to basically get it to go. So, um... Use this tool to help minimal system requirements of ENB series and set up game configuration files. But if you're using a mod organizer, config blah 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 blah. blah. So now what we will be doing is you're going to take all of this stuff, copy. And then we're going to get into the fun part where we actually start playing with the files now. So. Doesn't seem fun. No, uh, to each their own. But. So now, and you're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. And then this is where all of your mods will be downloaded once you download them through the Nexus. I'm not going to show you how to download through the Nexus because that's a huge pain in the ass and I don't want to lose 250 Fallout mods that I finally got to work correctly. So, follow the instructions. It's really hard to screw up. Just download the uh, um, Nexus. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> so, and just do it that way. So, this is all the stuff that you're going to need. So, then you just paste it all in here. Boom. And it all falls into place. And it automatically puts everything where it needs to go. So, here is the fun part. Now, this is going to tell you several things. So, the limiter, FPS limit, is 10. I put that at 61. And you want to put this to true. Then up here, 
reserved size of megabytes. This one, you can bump it up to 254. 254, 264. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing this. Okay. Reserved memory size in megabytes. We're just going to bump that up to, what was it at? You remember what it was at a second ago? I wasn't. No. Okay, don't say. Hold on. It's at 64. Okay. So, I think we can just hit 264 and it'll be fine. Or it might be 254. I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll find out. So, video memory size. This is the big thing. Okay. Video memory size is how much uh, VRAM the game is actually going to use. So, like, you have video memory and then you have a virtual or a what is it video memory and then there's another one i can't remember what the name of the other one is but bethesda games they use graphics cards a lot and everything and a more powerful one yeah it's going to help you out but if you have a lot of ram on you may not run the best graphics but you can still run two three hundred mods even if you're running a, an inferior graphics card and the reason is that is is it utilizes the RAM on your hard drive or on your uh, motherboard along with the video memory. So it's using both of them instead of just one of them like what a lot of games do. Yeah. So a way that you can pretty much get around into tricking it and allowing for it to have a lot more video memory than what the game should have. Because that says 2000. That's not a whole lot. That is maybe one kind of low, low down tone kind of E and B, but you're not going to be, you know, doing anything spectacular with it. So, what you have to do is you have to take the size of your video memory, so whatever your graphics card gigabyte is. So if it's six, it's eight, it's nine, it's whatever. I don't even know what mine is. I think you can check in the settings. If you don't know, actually that brings up a pretty good point. If you don't know what it is, you can do, I think it's an about. So, uh, desktop. Should re rename your PC to fuckmaster bitch. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, you can look in the settings, it's in there somewhere. Uh, I've got a 1080 Ti, so my gigabyte limit is 11 gigs, and then I've got 64 gigs of RAM. So 11 plus um, 64, 75, and then you take away six gigs uh, for the operating system, uh, anything else you may be running in the background, Google, whatever else have you. So you take away six. That leaves me with 69. Okay. Ironically enough, yeah. so at sixty nine at sixty nine gigs, and this is megabytes. Okay, keep that in mind. That that's in yeah. megabytes. So at sixty nine gigs, I could put down in there six nine zero zero zero. I could. Okay. Be using up all the memory. But I would be using up a lot of memory, even though I have given myself plenty of overhead. What we're gonna do is we're going to put 6,200 or 62,000. Okay. So that will allow for that to happen. And it'll basically use a lot more. Um, so mine's a Zotac, I think 950. 970. 970. And then I've got 32 gigs of RAM. All right. Let's look that up. It'll actually, it'll tell us, uh, let's see, seven gigs. Okay. So yours is at seven gigs. Wait, no, that's seven gigs per second memory clock. Oh, memory config four. So four gigs. Four. So 
you have four gigabytes a second plus 32 would put you at 36 so you would be at 30 yeah okay you could probably honestly you could probably bump that number up quite a bit yeah. you, you could put it at 40 and you would still be okay which is i think what i did i think i put it at 40 or 5200 which you can do um it does strain the pc a little bit by doing that um, yeah, there's no reason to do all that i'll keep it safe at 30. so but you can do that so um sorry guys my chair is squeaky um and then there is another thing that we need to do. You didn't uh, change back that thing to true. I didn't. No, because you saved, or you didn't save the. Uh, where's the end? The end. And the local. Yep, that's right there. Yeah. at 61 yeah for some reason if you put it at 60 it does some really weird shit I don't know what it does and always save your work whenever you leave if you are unsure about what you were doing don't save. copy the entire thing and put it in another notepad and just kind of keep it somewhere off the beaten path where you know, you just have it as a backup. So if you screw your ENB up, it only takes me two seconds to reinstall it if I screw it up, which is also another very good reason as to, that's the wrong thing, this one, as to why you copied this and you did not cut it because this is all the stock stuff right in here should you ever accidentally screw it up. So we've got ENB going and we have uh, Skyrim script extender going. To make sure that we did not screw one of them up, these are fairly big mods. These are basically the roots for all of the other mods. And see, there it goes, right in the top left-hand corner. That actually shows if you have done it right because that will not pop up if it has not been entered correctly so you got that see that time it let me go all the way down <laughs> so you good at going all the way down though mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we have that one uh, it does not show that I have any mods Skyrim prefs any so one of the other uh, things that it does wait I saw that a playthrough you should change that like difficulty playthrough the eye difficulty you should change that up to like a hundred <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is showing, I am noticing this, that that is showing 900 by 1600, and I don't know why it's doing that, but we're going to leave that alone for the moment. Change that to 15,000. All I can see is just the elbow of my character <laughs> going back and forth, that's it. And then you've got also, read, excuse me, read me text. I don't want to read you. This will help you um, input alt tab may cause game instability, instability with hardware configurations not advised. Um, you know, this looks like it's for um, it looks like it's the Uh, drivers. There are several things you need. Turn uh, okay, that's just the README. It looks like for Skyrim itself. This is for the ENB. 
So this has this is the change log. So this is everything that they have done with the ENB. So extract file folders from wrapper version or injector version into or or it does not say and it says or that's how you screw things up uh, to your game folder if you wish to use the injector version as a workaround for various third-party software and for laptops run ENB injector exe before starting the game do not run manually enb.exe because it will automatically uh, automatically it will be automatically started if memory manager allow activated the enb local any so Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, hacks are specific processes of objects, either tricks or enemy series that knows something that must be processed differently. Warning, emissive multiple this in emissive color not equal to zero are reserved for hacks. Reflection hack, okay. I don't know why they're making it sound like they are hacking into the mainframe, but... They're ha hacking into the CIA and FBI. Okay, here you go. B float point render target equals one must be in your Skyrim space any file to make this mod work. Start Skyrim Launcher EXE to configure your video options again. This is just a mod without a preset. You need to download them from the forum or the Nexus website, embdev.com or Nexus website. So this actually says that we need to go to the Skyrim prefs any. So we'll go to Skyrim, Skyrim prefs any, and then what did it say that we needed to try to find? I got an Audi. No, you don't. You have a Corolla. Okay. So a quick way to find this is you find the float. It's just one F. You put BF float. It's just B float. B float. Yeah, you put two Fs in there. No, I didn't. See? Right there. My phone's ringing. See? See what happens when you don't follow the instructions? So there you go. And then, just to make sure that that is right where it needs to be, you go to Skyrim, Skyrim prefs any, come on, edit, find, B, float, bam, right there. So, that is done correctly. I think there is something. Yeah, there is another thing down there that we got to do. Hold on just a second. Let me. Uh, Skyrim Archive. There we go. Okay. So what we're looking for is um, so uh, make sure that it has all the following listed as for not the actual texture size. I'm not sure about that. It's wrong. Uh, let's see here. There is actually one of them. Yes. Yes. Stop searching. Okay. Go to Fallout. Yes. Finish. And then it'll automatically pop up a bunch, whole bunch of stuff. So it says I have five total plugins, which are these. So those are my plugins. Because I plugged it in a lot like you do with the clapper. Plug it in, plug it so in. what they're talking about. is resets the archive and validation. I don't think that we need to do that this time around. Um, I 
Here it is. This is what we need. B invalidate older files. So what we need to do is go to our any file. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. So we need to go to our any file, which it really doesn't say which one. It just says uh, uh, goes to if you're having problems with resources not loading in the correct order, make sure that you do not have b invalidate older files equals zero in your any file. This default reads so. Let's go down here to the Skyrim default any and then archive. See, it does not have any b inval. See? It does not have it in this one. So what we are going to do is we are going to double check this one because you have three any files. B. Okay, so it doesn't have it there. And then we'll go to the prefs any. Edit, find. B in Val. Okay, so it's not anywhere in any of this. So what we are going to do is we are going to put it in uh, this one. And it goes under archive. So what you're going to do is you're just going to plop it right there. And then hit enter so that comes down. So that's in that one there, which I don't think is the right one now that I'm thinking about it. So if you're not super duper sure, like uh, I am right at the moment, let's go to the Skyrim Any, and we'll just plop it down here too. Because, you know, what the fuck. And then save. So there you go. Just put them in both of them. That's what I've done before. No harm, no foul. So that is how you get to make sure that some of this shit actually ends up working correctly. Um, we'll just run the game again just to make super duper sure that we didn't screw it up. Which we shouldn't have and it should be working just fine. There it is. It's on. And now we still have, now we have basically made it to where the mods can now work. Ugh. So we've got two of the bigger ones done. We've got the ENB dev and we've got the Skyrim script extender. Not a big, huge, horrible deal as far as that goes. Yeah, it was. Kind of easy. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. Now comes for the fun part that everybody likes go to explore all mods no okay hold on a second I need to figure out why it keeps uh, There it is, by endorsements. Okay, because that was getting kind of irritating. So we go to, because we're going to be doing all the bigger ones first. So some of these that we are going to download first is we're going to do... Hmm, Let's open this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Do this one. And that one. 
So, CBBE, and actually, I think I can do this one. You already did. Did I? Yeah. Race menu, race menu, yeah, I'm sure should did. Uh, let's see. What about all your patches? We'll see, and that's the other thing, too. Your Skyrim, your Dawn Guard, your Dragonborn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put those in. Your Skyrim one's up at the top. To the right. No, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So we've got... Here, we'll just go ahead. Pretty much... Everything on this first page. Did I get immersive weapons? No. Oh, yeah, you did. I did? Yeah. Boar's new idols. No. Just go ahead and get everything. Uh, this one, static mesh improvement. Okay, so there's pretty much everything on the front page, which is most of the stuff that you're going to want to use anyway. So, always, 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 when you download a mod, read the description page here. Okay, you will need to download anything that it tells you that it needs. Okay, look, right here. Skyrim requirements. This. Right here. First menu related SKSE plugins. This right here. You can use this. If you want to get a character's preset, you need this right here. Okay. That is what you're going to need. This is a very, very cool. Okay, here you go. High resolution war paint. In any setting has been added to SKSE to allow for high resolution war paint to be applied to your character. Default resolution resolution is 256. This is a terrible resolution if you really want to do some fancy war paints. So you're going to go to your SKSE folder. Oops. Not Internet Explorer. Okay. You're going to go to Skyrim. You're going to go into your data. Uh, SKSE. Which is not in there. Because it should be like right in there somewhere. Actually, it would be between scripts and strings. Hmm. Why is it? It may not just be in there because I haven't played the game long enough. Uh, nope. Leave that the hell alone. I did drag and drop everything from in there. Oh, okay. Create an SKS SKSE uh, new folder. That's what we get for not reading the, <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> yeah. So there's SKSE. Um, create an... I don't know how to create an uh dot I and I uh yes. So what we're going to do is open this up. We're just going to copy this. Oops, actually, damn it. We're going to copy this, copy this, blam, paste, blam, save. And you're done.
So this is a very, very nice mod to have. Um, we're going to download this with the mod manager. Example body headspace. Uh, by default, there are none. So we're just going to go ahead and download this one as well. So that is the first thing that we have installed. You haven't installed it yet, though. You just downloaded it. Well, now it's installed. No, uh, one of them is installed. Hey, now both of them are. So, this is basically what this mod allows you to do. Creepy eyes. Is you can go through, look, it's got several races, or a race, at least what I'm seeing, that is not normally on there. Oh, a Dark Elf's on there, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's called, no, Wood Elf is what it's called. No, there's a Dark Elf also. Is there? That, that's the one that specializes in, specializes in destruction magic. Oh, okay. High Elf is in Restoration, Wood Elf is in Archery. So there you go. Body paint. Uh, hair. Creepy eyes. Yeah, she's got some creepy eyes. But eyes, brow, mouth, hair, extra body paint, colors, uh, makeup, hand paint, foot paint, skin tone. I think I... Oh, there you go. Textures. I'm going to add uh, Argonian Stripes, Beauty Mark. Like, there's just, there's so much you can do. And then this right here is the face sculptor. So if you really want to fuck your character up, you go play with that for about six hours until you get it right. So, there's that. That won't be working. You'll get bored and you'll try it. No, yeah, you will. Nope. Yeah. Nope. So here we go. Here is CBBE. This is probably one of the best mods on the planet. So you noticed that one of them installed there and one of them installed down here. So the first thing that we're going to do let me extend this out a little bit. Oh, God damn it. Apparently you won't be. <laughs> there we go. So there's CBBE. Okay. Now, just so you guys know, this will be uh, um, rated R here for a few minutes. So if you're a young chillin', you need to just uh, do whatever. You've, you've killed me inside by saying that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. So you got Slammer Curvy, obviously. You have the vanilla shape. Uh, conform closely to the proportions of the vanilla Skyrim female body. With a few adjustments on our options are uh, are following in the next step. So uh, my texture blending tool to configure and apply a texture fix for neck seams with a single click. Yes, you do want that. So... Don't tell me what I want. Uh, CB face pack containing face textures with options assembled by Jer. Selecting this will bring up more options in the next step. So we want that. So I don't know what the point of the vanilla shape. Oh, it slightly changes them. We'll go ahead and click that. Okay, so you got underwear one, underwear two, never nude. Or they just have the standard underwear. We'll do underwear two because why not? We want it on Ultra because, of course, we do. Um, neater brows, feminine brows. Um, we'll just do the neater ones. Dirt to beauty marks. And then finish. And then that is the manual, or that is the install for that. Now we have. Do the same thing like we've been doing. Folder, C B D E E E A. 
and then this goes to there. Pop this bad boy open. Uh, unzip. Unzip to here. And then a whole bunch of stuff should pop out. There we go. So here is the README. This takes the original Dirt to Beauty Marks option file even further. There are now five packs to choose from, and you can even mix and match if you know how to copy and paste. Uh, yes, the original three Beauty Marks can be found in these packs. Pack one, one plus two, pack two, number three. Uh, yes, they are low res. Sorry. Can I install it only if you only if you don't want things to be installed properly. Uh, nope, the game only allows, can I install more than one pack at once? No, the game only allows for three dirt options. I want the first beauty mark from pack two and the third uh, beauty mark from pack five. And the second beauty mark from pack, how do I do this? Simples, go into each pack, copy the files you want into the Skyrim data texture actors characters character assets tint masks file. God damn. <laughs> I want uh, the first beauty marks from packs three, four, and five. How do I do this? Same way you mix and match the beauty marks in question three. But this time you need to rename the files. They should be fe female head dirt 01.dds, 02.dds, so on. Uh, First is that I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. Second is the war paints come in all kinds of colors, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what these are is that these are just beauty marks. These are not um, freckles or anything like that. So we can just get rid of those. So how do you know if you installed everything correctly? Uh, that's another thing we're going to need real quick. Go ahead and zoom this up. Body slide. So, I thought that because I had body slide for Fallout 4, I could just use it for that. Nope, nope you cannot. Uh... So we are just going to do like that and then we will install it. I think there is another step that you have to do with doing the body slide. So right now this is going to be one of the biggest things that you do to the game because you are literally changing uh, how every single female looks. Yeah, how every single female works. A lot of cases it's going to be there's actually uh, plugins that you can put in for male bodies as well. Obviously, I'm not going to be jacking with those right at this time. And here we go. So we're going to do CBBE because I don't like the UNP. Um, this includes pre-built, body meshes, more files linked with them, curvy shape. Uh, this includes link to them so you can adjust shape in-game using the race menu morph. I think that's a select one. So, we're going to do that one. And then this one, you can only select one. So that's how we're going to do that. What is HDT and the HDT? Oh. Okay, so here you go. Make sure you have the XP MSE skeleton and the HDT physics engine installed. Extension. Whatever. Okay, so it still says that it installed, which is fine because I'm going to show you all how to re reinstall. So back to the first page, which is this. Oh, I already have it up there. So here we go. This is a skeleton. This is uh, for animation in Skyrim. Uh... There you go. See? Schlongs of Skyrim. 
your favorite mod ever. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so... Uh, four modders. Okay, anything that says four modders, let's just kind of... Stay away from. Uh, looky there. See, it even told us that there was a mod that we needed to have first before we did that. Uh, Realistic just... force. Four high force to launch people. So, we've got that one. And the easiest way I have found to basically keep yourself from fucking up is download them and install them one at a time. So that way you don't totally screw yourself later with trying to figure out, okay, which one do I need to install correctly first? So there's the skeleton. Uh, if you have the Frostfall mod, Frostfall, we're just going to go ahead and stick with that one. Uh, I like how they used a picture of Saitama. <laughs> uh, if you are not using the Joy of Perspective mod, since this will overwrite the first person skeleton I in IF. Well then let's look and see what the Joy of Perspective is. It's not the right key. Joy of... Right there. There we go. Joy of perspective. So, ah, so you can see your own body. So you can see your own body. Basically, nice. if it was like if you were the actual character that you were playing as. Look, it looks like a Triss from Witcher. I wouldn't know. So, these are what it requires. So, what we're going to do is we're going to download this mod. Uh, no SKSE. We're going to do version 2. Look at that here. Uh, character behaviors enhanced. Character behaviors enhanced. And then uh, compatible skeleton. Use these skeletons if you have compatibility issues with our main skeleton. This optional skeleton have breast and bone, butt bones included. Um, here is enhanced patch. And then joy perspective female compatible uh, beta. So the other thing that you can look at is look at when it was uploaded. Usually the stuff that was uploaded later is the stuff that you want as far as the files are concerned. So what we're going to do is cancel that one. Go down here. Click on that. And then that'll start downloading start that one. Oh yeah, start installing. And injecting it into your Skyrim file. Uh, we're going to do installs vanilla sound combat, stance anima animations, vanilla. Uh, we're going to do install movement behaviors. This additional movement animations forward, backwards, left, or right for one handed crossbow and bow. Uh, these have less quality when using the vanilla combat stance, so no. We're just going to click no. And hope that everything kind of turns out better. That's what modding really is. It's just kind of a series of hoping that everything kind of goes right. Okay, so that one's now done. So now... What you do when you accidentally do in when you do this is that says that it was done 
But we never finished this. Yes. Uh, no. When it says warning, uh, Uh, let's see. Install this if you don't have FNIS. Well, look at there. There's another one. So, we're going to go into this one. Uh, let's see. You will have to run a generator tool, part of FNIS behavior, every time you have installed or uninstalled FNIS or in an in FNIS-based mod. In addition, when you uninstall a mod, use that. You have to first, you first have press the deinstall creatures button before you run the update. So, this is really good for get everything kind of where you want it to go, and then put everything in. So this mod, if I remember correctly, is really fucking confusing. Because uh, yeah, I've already got such a good grasp on this already. <laughs> like, I, honestly, like, you've been running through so much of shit, I, I can't even remember the first few steps. That's okay. That's why it's on here. It's because it'll be really easy for you to because we're we're busting it out and we're getting through it. So there's not a whole lot of just bullshit. So this is I don't remember if you can install this with Nexus, but we're going to have to see. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and download the optional files. Add on for spells. So there's that. And here's this one. This to all. If you download a bunch of these mods from the same thing that says um, uh, do you want to overwrite, if it's usually within the same mod maker like this, you can just click yes to all. So the next thing that we will do is okie dokie. Okay, install all of this. Activate the FNIS plugin. And then, so that's going to be, uh, let's see, SKSE plugins. Nope, not there. Nope. Back because it's data. Um, Skyrim loader. Huh. Not good. Let's check Skyrim. Nope. Nothing got uploaded there. Data. Uh, interface. Scripts. Check that one. Uh, tools for users. Here we go. Found it. Create shortcut. Bloop. Okay. Push the big red F button. <laughs> okay. So right down through here, you're going to see all of these deals through here okay these are all individual mods that are obviously there so 
the one that we want is we have this skeleton right here but we don't have that particular mod installed just yet so we've got that one now yes we do use the joy perspective we don't care about that uh, back one-handed sword one hand equip animation we'll go ahead and use the back hit dagger and the equip animation uh, yes and then finish yes to all and then what we do is go through that one because we did the new animation for that one now that looks like everything so what you do is you update FNIS behavior Let's see PCA patch is ticked but PCA is not installed so let's see don't tick if unknown patch requires additional files animation except from the original mod so it's this one. The scan generating behavior files. And this does kind of take a minute. Okay, 94 animations for three mods successfully included character. Two warnings. What are two warnings? does not tell me what my consistency check zero possible checks issues whatever <laughs> consistent checks or issues I create a program to share on your desk yes look it did it cancel Oop. delete uh, after installing FNIS or any models use it after call this tool okay so we're just going to that's still clicked so we're going to go ahead and update it again and this is showing for 32 bit which isn't shouldn't be causing any kind of problems or anything and see it still tells us that we have two warnings but nothing so we'll click on this again and we'll update it see it tells us that it's patch is ticked but that's not installed so we'll um, go ahead and update it one more time should so I'm curious how long does this video stay up on your page indefinitely uh, I think 14 days or something Okay. and then well this one I'm gonna throw up on YouTube just as a tutorial okay so now that we've got that now we can install body slide since we have the skeleton we have everything else that we need okay. so you, you can see how very quickly everything kind of snowballs yeah out of control i was just curious i'm gonna go grab something to eat because i'm starving okay and i can just watch this so here we go so <coughs> we need cbbe this has got the skeleton. Don't lie to me. And race morphs for that. And then finish. You've overloaded me. I've overloaded you? My brain. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that wanted to get into a Skyrim. And I, I know, but it's just this, this. This this game is a lot more in depth. Yeah. Than what. Uh, so this is something I have to be doing along with you to be able to really grasp it. So, and the way that we configure it, body slide is you go into data, go to tools, why is it not there? Why is it Caliente tools? And then uh, 
choose game. Uh, let's see, config, body slide. I guess I could have used it for the other one, but for the most part, we're just going to keep everything like that. Data, body slide. Okay. So launch body slide. There we go. So this is body slide. This is how you um, will build your characters. So here we go. We got HDT. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, never renewed. HDT. Preset is going to be... Um, what is this? Imitation fantasy figures. So let's say you want to kind of see what that is. You hit preview. And then that shows you what it is. So let's do curvy. Oh, crap preview and that's that so actually what we're gonna end up doing is do that one and then let's do physique top heavy oh, god damn it I keep hitting the wrong button you want a preview so there you go and he's got a bunch of presets in here which thankfully are uh, you know nice because it, it gets you closer to kind of what you want so there you go that is body slide and all of that now working and installed um, I guess I could show. So basically, if you want to um, these are outfit groups. So if you want to build all of the outfits to use whatever body or whatever, you just hit OK and then it starts building them. Then you do you click come down here and you do build morphs and then you do batch build and this batch build builds all of these group filters and then you hit build down here in the big center button and that gets you to um, where it actually builds that character's body because you can do all of this and I don't think it means anything unless you actually hit this uh, build here you can also go to the outfit studio and if you have a particular outfit selected that it's not working or it's clipping real bad or something like that you can go into the outfit studio and uh, do fine tweaks and kind of move stuff around okay okay now it's just me so that is um, how that kind of works so there we go now we have those done so that is and this also has a readme there you go so we've made pretty good progress so far We've downloaded a bunch of we're going to want the full oh what is this uh, show race menu pre-cache killer 
Uh, this mod keeps the game from crashing to start when show. You can use many hair mods, almost all no delay, as affect any other mod. Okay, so this one, this is actually new. This one I've never seen before. So there we go. That is now done. Now we can download this one. I guess I accidentally exited out of it. So that's now downloading. My phone is blowing up. So, uh, hair and face models, and we'll go ahead and install that. And because uh, Apache's hair models, you saw all of the different hairs that it was adding. Okay, so that one's now done. Okay, uh, this equipable wigs for use under helmets and hats, craft them at Forge. And then these are 98 female hairs. These are standalone hairs. So, We'll go ahead and download those. These are male hairs. Couldn't really care less about those. So, but you can see how many of them there are. So, that's not too big of a deal there. But you can also, I mean, this right here is you know, almost two gigs. Or no, that was kilobytes, not megabytes. So now we'll go ahead and uh, do that one. Oh, uh, wait a second. I just realized what I did. Uh, the updated version has more natural high res textures. The old version has low res bright shiny textures. So, what we did was we didn't check. Nine. Okay, so it didn't ask to override anything, so it's fine. So we got that one. We've got that one. Now we got immersive weapons. We'll go ahead and it adds 224 lore friendly weapons. Uh. And then alternate start. And usually if the mod requires something else, it'll tell you something. Wait, what is this? Uh, refer to the legendary edition patch instead. So, legendary edition patch. Uh, legendary edition. You sleep is to eventually fix every bug in Skyrim and all three is not officially resolved by the... Okay. So, instead of that one are those four other mods that we are going to download we will just have to download this one so uh, immersive armors yes of course okay so this is version 8 so November 2015 2012 
there must have been a lot of versions in between those. A quality world map. We'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, difference between Sky HD and the HD DLC. Click for a comparison shot. Let's see. Beth Bethesda HD DLC or Skyrim HD. Look at how much better that looks. All right. So this is everything that, okay, look at this. Full version uses four gigabytes of RAM. I just download one of the complete packages to that. So there are still people really, so this is the, com uh, so yes, we're gonna do the complete full. We're going to do the cities full, dungeons full, landscape full, and these are not, you know, fairly small. You know, mods. Look at all the other ones. So, we've already got that one, Enhanced Blood Textures. So, what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll start installing uh, some of these. Actually, we'll just do like this. You can tell it's running really slow. So there we go. And then here we go with this one. So we're going to go ahead and add cloaks of Skyrim. So let's look and see what this one does. Yeah, you can tell that I am downloading. So this just kind of Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that makes the game look way better. Uh let's see, installation. Uh, let's see. Unofficial high resolution patch. That's not it. Let's see if this one has anything to say. If it needs a compatibility patch. Because we did not look at this. Or we did. Um, let's see, since HD textures ranging from 1K resolution in the light version up to some 8K in the full version, uh, normal max all over the world is included. Okay, so let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Skyfall, Ruffle Feathers, Runes, Clear. Uh, then the texture mods and let them override a few files that might conflict. Okay, so we have to install this one first and then just as stuff goes through. So we're going to also install this one uh, 
and then we're just going to kind of let it overwrite. We're going to put that one in first and then let all the mods override it as we go through it. So basically what this thing is saying is that the only one uh, so what happens is is that complete crafting overhaul or jewel craft. So basically we're just going to be looking at a lot of these different mods now. Oh, I okay, that's okay. Let's not do that again. Uh, the mod you were looking for cannot be found. Okay. High quality food and flora overhaul. Okay. So yeah. These are all mods that I've had before. So what we're going to do is... Where were we? Okay. So here we were. So that texture mod So then we got railroads of Skyrim during the night during the day Uh, this is not a parallax mod. You know what? We need to look at. No. No. Okay, what does this do? Covers all the cities. This covers all the landscape textures. This covers all the dungeon textures. Uh, this covers the rest, reflection, sky, water, clutter, clothes. Okay. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold off on a bunch of these. Except for... These right here. We're going to do the food and ingredients. See, so that's March updated high quality apple. Okay. What we're doing is uh, adds a missing texture for the tundra brush. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, without any additional grass is otherwise complete. Should also download a song in the main files. Is this doing? This is doing a whole bunch of shit. We're going to come back to that one later. That one's a little. 
uh, over the top. Uh, patch for whoever for use with either weapons and armor fixes, legendary plus. Hmm. Let's see. Let's have the following found out. So. There we go. See this very quickly, you end up getting a lot of extra mods. Uh, clothing, clothing, separate. Okay. You can end up getting a lot of. Issues with existing items that are worn. Okay. Let's see. So you get um, some of these that end up becoming quite intense so for the most part that's how you get it up and running texture files to work um, and that's basically how you get started so um, because this is going to end up getting pretty boring here well you know what I'll just continue on I've already kept it up this far so I might as well I'm just trying to get rid of some of these other ones Quality ingredients. Okay. So let's install what we got so far. Maybe. This is going to take a while. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw all these mods in together and then go over the entire list of everything. And then once I get done with all of that, I will uh, start it back up and we'll just break it up into two parts because I am starving. So um, I will see you guys back here in just a minute.